All right, hey guys, uh, it's just me. It's coming in here, and uh, yeah, Ubisoft and From Software did a game together, and I kind of telegraphed this completely. But anyway, since this is the first episode of this, we're gonna just sit right back, and I'll tell a tale. Okay, sorry about that. But anyway, what this is going to be is, uh, since this is the first episode, I'm going to be using it as a test episode to see how all of this goes. I'm going to be playing the game live. Uh, the next one's probably not so much because I want to actually get uh, the reactions of three crude, cra uh, three crude cats in here. At least uh, for the next couple of episodes. Because this game gets really odd, and it's awesome, and I love it. I love every second of it, and in an unironic fashion. But anyway, this is going to be testing out my new recording softwares, my new uh, editing softwares, my new everything, really. Um, so I'm going to be playing in the full 1080 on my screen. You guys are probably going to have to deal with like 480, which sucks, and I'm sorry but that's the highest resolution I can actually capture in. Um, yeah, so I'll try to keep it widescreen for you. The last couple of recordings I did didn't actually get that. But anyway, yes, I'm playing Enchanted Arms from Software and Ubisoft. And this is going to be a little bit uh, longer than a lot of my other stuff because, well, that's the way it goes. Going to be starting a new game here. Going to be looking at the options. Game options, I'm not going to mess with these. Maybe all at once, that way you guys can read uh, the tutorials that just kind of pop up with no voices. So I'll just leave that. Um, yes, change settings. Sound options. I'm going to leave it on English voices because, God, they are great and bad. And later on, I may turn down the music, but everything should be fine for now. So, uh, here we go. Oh yeah, and uh, I may trim down the loading screens a bit. Not this one, of course, because I'm talking over it. So now we start the game proper. Some of you know what's going on right now. And it was all a dream. A thousand years ago, golems with almighty powers were created. These golems are known today as devil golems. Hey, Atsuma, come on, wake up. Professor Ko will see you. No, I can't eat anymore. However, debate still rages over whether these golems actually existed. Even here, at Enchant University, opinion remains divided. Impossible. Oh, Toya, just let that poor moron sleep. Nah, that wouldn't be fair. Not even Atsuma deserves to suffer the wrath of Professor Ko. It is said that in order to activate the almighty Devil Golems, special devices known as Magic Cores are required. Yeah, well, from where I'm sitting, it's exactly what he deserves. All right, class. <clears throat> That's enough revision for today. Time for a little enchant practice. Are you ready, Atsuma? Huh? <laughs> Where? What's going on? Uh, okay. Atsuma, 
You excel at the practical elements. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to skip over the actual battle tutorial. I'll explain everything whenever we get there. Or at least not everything, but most of the stuff so I can keep it uh, expedient. Anyway, let us go into the game. That is Professor Ko, and yeah, he's not subtle at all, is he? But you don't really like listening to my lectures, it seems. Well... Okay, now, here's the other thing, dialogue choices, they don't matter, at all. So... It's just I get so tired in your lectures. Huh. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Really? Thank you, Professor. Also, I'm on a delay now because I'm actually listening through my uh, speakers instead of my TV, which would have been exactly what it is. But anyway... Yeah, you can read these if you want. And that's why I'm leaving them there. Is to do all this. I don't need him to explain how to fight because I've played this game countless times before. So yeah. So here's what the battle system looks like. We have a grid of 12 spaces on each side. I cannot cross into the enemy spaces, but I can move anywhere I want within the blue space. It's the standard tactical thing. I don't want to move right now. You also have your skills right here. Your EP on the right actually uh, is how much pretty much mana or you know magic points you're going to be using the little fire symbol will come up later and it'll be a big thing so I'll leave that for now and the PP is how much damage the thing should take gotcha. overbreak is another system that I'll explain later Actually, no, I'll explain it now. Overbreak allows you to get more EXP and everything else. It's like Final Fantasy X. Um, but there's also Overbreak Upper, because this is a strategy game. Overbreak Upper just destroys that character and remo removes them from the battle. Excellent, Atsuma. All right! Did you see that, Toya? Pretty impressive, huh? Certainly. Incapacitating golems with fists alone. <laughs> you bet! Single brain cell alert! Atsuma seems to be satisfied anyway. So let's call it a day here. Make sure you practice what we have studied every day. Especially you, Atsuma. Okay, I love some real action. If only he threw that single brain cell into his studies with the same enthusiasm. But then he wouldn't be Atsuma anymore, would he? I just get so drowsy looking at textbooks and reading about magic techniques. Ugh. That's just the way I am. Here's a better explanation. You're a dropout. You hanging around Toya makes him look bad, for sure. Well, he does always sleep during lessons. But he can perform powerful enchants from time to time, can't he? Luck, that's all. Luck. The way he does them is never in any textbook. It's just he sometimes gets good results. Come on, Toya, you mustn't give him any credit. Yeah, but if I've surpassed the textbooks already, that makes me a genius, right? <laughs> Certainly. Anyway, lessons are done for now, so let's go. To the cafeteria, then. After heading into the corridor from the lecture hall, go down the stairs, and that will lead you right to it. You don't have to explain that much, Toya. You do tend to forget things, Atsuma. Anyway, let's head down there. Okay, I'm also not going to be talking to many people during the playthrough unless I'm absolutely stumped on where to go. But then again, this game has a way of just telling you where to go. It just kind of blatantly says, Oh, well, you got to go here and do this. And so there's that. You can also save anywhere. Um, yeah. But no, it's it has a way of treating you like a dummy. 
Also, as you can tell, Atsuma is our protagonist. Lunchtime, at last. Even though it should be... Atsuma, a moment of your time. Toya. Concerning your right arm, I think I'll have some interesting data to show you in a few days. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, it should be him. But, uh, but it's not. We get to follow this guy. Yay. But anyway, down to the cafeteria. And I get to make another choice here. And as I stated earlier, choices don't matter. Well, not right now, anyway. This is the very beginning of the game, so choices just don't matter. That loser. Is he coming this way? What should we do? If his right arm touches us, we'll never enchant again! Oh, it's Toya! How handsome he is! Really? Is, is he coming this way? Toya! Over here! Great lion read. Duh. Why does Toya always get all the attention? This is the real reason that I'm actually playing the game. We'll wait for you here if you want to go and buy your lunch. The voice acting is great. Not getting anything? I made enough for Toya too. Oh, stop messing around and go buy something. And I love that design for Makoto. Okay. Okay. So now get to the order counter, order your lunch, and yeah, this could have easily been taken out of the game, but oh well. Um, last time, uh, let's go with the giblets, Romulan. But no, all that happens here is Toyo will give you the uh. The breakdown of what you got for uh, got for lunch, and Makoto will make fun of you. I'm back. Ah, you went for the mixed giblets ramen. If I recall correctly. Also. That's noodles and the pink giblets come cooked from? slowly for a rich, heavy flavor. Most students don't care much for it, but those who do are totally addicted. You poor thing, only able to order garbage. Certainly nothing compared to my extra special Makoto love lunch. Wow, that does look good. Look all you want, you aren't getting any. Okay, you two, let's eat. Yeah, Makoto's not exactly subtle. I'm stuffed. Full and content now, are we? None of them really are. Oh yeah, I couldn't eat another mouthful. Huh. Well, maybe that's because you kept stealing mine. I'm sure you are stuffed after all that. Give me a break, it would have just gone to waste. I got up early this morning to make that lunch for Toya. The finest, most carefully selected prawns for the sushi. Scallops and a rich mushroomy cream sauce. The special Makoto love omelet accompanied with the pinkest of pickles. I don't know what that line means either. Not to mention the raspberry, pecan, chocolate chip cheesecake for dessert. I didn't go to all that trouble for you to stuff your piggy face. Makoto, I could never have eaten all that alone anyway. Well, if you say so, Toya, I guess I'll let him off. But just you be grateful, you hear me? Oh, I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Your lunch is far better than anything the cafeteria has to offer. Of course it is. My love for Toya soaks into everything I make. Yeah, yeah, very impressive, in a scary way. Anyway, Toya... Uh, dismiss me then, why don't you? That's rich coming... So, Toya, do you know what day it is today? It's your birthday, right? Our main characters, ladies and gentlemen. That's right! Wait, no it isn't. So it's Makoto's birthday. If you say so, Toya, from today on, today will be my birthday. Our main characters, ladies and gentlemen. I'll change my birthday for you. No, that's not it either. And it's equally scary. 
I'm just messing around with you. The preparations for the festival started early this morning in Yokohama. It would be impossible not to notice. That's right, the festival! And so? There it is. I've been waiting for that face. He's planning something. This only comes once a year. Shouldn't we get down there and have some fun, Toya? You're right. Once lessons finish... No, 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 no. That's no good. Let's cut classes this afternoon. <laughs> what? Keep your voice down. Says the man who was practically shouting. We should allow ourselves to skip lessons at least once a year. Once a year? You cut classes at least Where'd twice those a classes week, come from? Details, details. Come on then, Toya. Listen to yourself. I'm not talking to you, Makoto. Why do you always drag Toya into these crazy schemes, Atsuma? What are you, his legal guardian or something? Legal guardian? Of course not. I'm his disciple of love. I'm here to make sure that Toya, my pure angel, doesn't fall from grace. We're talking about cutting a few classes. Angels falling from grace? Psh, what nonsense. Nonsense? How dare you? Stop it, you two. You're embarrassing me. Just tell him straight out, Toya. No festival this afternoon. I don't think Toya can say anything really straight. But that's fine. No, we're going. We're going, right, Toya? Come on, say we're going. You're like a spoiled child. Which means you should say no. Also, where'd your glasses go? Okay, okay. Just for today, Atsuma. Uh, no answers to either of them. Toya, you're too accommodating, honestly. I don't agree with Makoto much, but on this, definitely. Morons like him won't understand anything unless you spell it right out. Well, we are childhood friends. That doesn't explain it. He may be spoiled, but he can also be kind of fun, you know? I'm not touching that one. What? You never call me fun. Looks like I got another one up on you, Makoto. <laughs> Take that. Nor that. Why, you... If we're going to the festival, then we need to head for the trade district. Okay, but I need to do something first. Lunch for someone special, right? That's right. He'll be starving by now. That means we have to go to the sealed ward. It's east of the cafeteria, okay? Okay, so what's going on is there's no way out there. And now we're about to run into a new mechanic. And I love this mechanic of the game, because it straight out tells you, you can do whatever the fuck you want and be a main character. Hopefully I left that long, up long enough for uh, people to uh, look to read. Uh, that's where we're supposed to be going. And later on there are some boxes up there and we'll be getting those too. And now this happens. Mutt. Good boy! Good boy! Here's your lunch, boy. Eat it all up. Easily pleased, just like his master. You've upset him, Makoto. Uh, get away from me, you stupid dog! This dumb dog seems to have taken a real disliking to me for some reason. He didn't even like you when he was a puppy, did he? Maybe it's that. Or maybe it's that unique look you've got going, Mikado. Hey, keep it down. We shouldn't really be seen around here. Good point. We shouldn't be anywhere near here, should we? Really? The teachers always tell us to stay away from this place. Especially you, Atsuma. After all, what if that right arm of yours starts breaking some seams? There are all those rumors about this place anyway. 
that the military are doing secret weapons research deep inside. That ghosts are often seen around here. And that a princess is imprisoned inside. I heard that one. Really? Is she cute? How would I know? Uh... Anyway, it's the perfect place for you to keep your little dog a secret. No, well, actually, I don't know anything about any of this. But there are some things that scare me. Like Professor Ko, for instance. Right, Koda? <laughs> You've come close to being used in live experiments a few times, haven't you, boy? Poor puppy's missing an ear. What? What's wrong, Coda? What's got his back up so suddenly? Just you be... What's the face for, Mikado? You look pale. You should be well aware that this place is off-limits to students. Ah! I think it's almost time for afternoon lessons, isn't it? Y yes Professor. Very good. For it's still too soon for you to show your true colors, Atsuma. <sighs> Crazy. <laughs> Professor Ko isn't coming after us, is he? No, I think we're in the clear. But let's just try not to cause too much of a fuss from now on. All right! Good then, let's head to the trade district. The school's south exit then. Let's roll, the festival beckons! I'm glad you're so excited, Atsuma. But keep in mind that this is lesson time. I'm sure teachers and members of the student council will be watching for class cutters. Festival day is said to be the hardest day to get out, even a minute early. We're making history, Toya. We will be legends. I somehow doubt that the staff will just let us stroll past. Then we'll force our way through. Let's go to the trade district exit in the South Hall. Okay, that was just teaching you how to put people in your party, and I'm going to have to do that anyway. So you press triangle, edit party, and then Atsuma can't be removed, so it's weird that it defaulted me back to him. But there's that, and they, everybody has VP, which is vitality points. That's how much you, how many fights you can get in sometimes. One to two are lost within one round, so there you go. Anyway, there's two different ways that you can go. First way is that way. Second way is up the stairs and over the skyway. I'm going to go this way because I want the fights. But I'll still get those boxes. And yeah, now there's the A3, the Atsuma... They'll explain it. Anti-Atsuma Alliance. And then there's the TFC, which is the Tora Fan Club. So yeah, already starting to pick fights here. But yeah, no, if you've ever played a strategy RPG game eh, before, this is no, not really different, so all good. Let's see, earth, earth, wind. Still gonna use Flare Rush. Gonna use Aqua Spike and Standby. Should have used Beat Sonic, but oh well, doesn't matter right this second. Okay. So what I'm going to do is move him over here, beat Sonic, you over here, Flare Rush, High Spear. And they've got the fast forward in there for a reason, so I am using it. And like I said, VP goes down fairly fast. No one can stop me from going to the festival, no one. Pretty much. 
But yeah, I'm going this way because there's three fights instead of the one that I would have been able to get if I had just gone over the top. And because I want to get to level two... Well, this is the best way to do it. Toya fan, uh, Toya fan Club. The Toya Fan Club members. Okay. Okay, wind, wind, and wind, so... Nope, he could actually stay back here. Good. One round. If you do, if you defeat everyone in the first round, then well, no VP is lost. This thing restores VP, so he's gonna tell me about it now. Because game designers think that you're idiots. Walk up to it, press X. VP restored. That's the reason that I got that. I've already got a power of speed gem, so I got a mind. As well. I also got a power gem from beating up that, uh, that house servant earlier on. Now we've got this as well. And so now there's a teacher up there who's going to teach you about elemental weaknesses. So I've got two water foes to fight. Oh, I can't get to either of them. So, Toya, go over here, high spear. Kodo, here. Yeah. And below. That way I can just take her out and that'll be fine. Atsuma's down. High Spear. Beat Sonic. Cure Power and a Power Gem. Hooray. Gonna restore my VP after this, and uh, that should do it for part one. Part two will be out at the festival. So, uh, I'll see you guys later.